Hello, everyone's me, GamesLine99. Can you know, bring it round three? Yeah, I think we're allowed to mulligan without the clock. Yeah, we are. Round three okay. of the tournament. Uh, I'm um... at the top table, and this is terrifying because I'm up against Poe Ray. I made this deck to be count to be a counter, though, so there we go. We've got a rocket launcher, it's a trap start. Um, I'm not going to bother with the it's a trap for the first turn, uh, but a rocket launcher start is very triple nice. Triple Rebel Commando? Yeah, Triple Rebel Commando. I'm going to keep the Rebel Assault because of oh, the for training. special side. Um... um Maybe I toss the hold up blaster, or maybe I keep the hold up blaster. Like the rocket launcher, nearly rocket launcher is very powerful. Your battlefield dollar. Nearly rocket launcher is very powerful, especially because I can use the Ember Storm Room with it. So I think I will. Uh, I'm going to keep the hold up blaster though as well because it's just a good starting card. Oh, whoops! So I'm only getting only one. <laughs> yep. Definitely flip. yeah. Flipped this thing. Still yeah. had it selected. Okay, that's going to be worth it. Um, I'm going to mulligan too. Unless. Unless Rage starts with a Vibro Knife or something. Alright. And I am ready. Okay. Both got full. Or for me. One. Two or three. Okay. I mean, do, um... do you ever expect the Commandos to win on the battlefield roll? <laughs> Honestly. Uh, they average one. They should average three. They have three ones. Yeah, I'll, I'll take mine. They have, they have three ones, two zeros. Alright. Oh, they have two zeros? Yeah, the special is zero, right? Oh. They have three ones, two zeros. They, they are probably the they worst characters five, in the six. game when it comes to the... <laughs> five, six. Okay. Uh, good luck, have fun. Yep, GLHF. Let's start the timer. How do you start that? Uh, uh you just click it. Ah, that there works. Cool. Let the games begin! Dollars. Uh, let's go Viber Knife. Okay. Two, Two actions. actions. I'll roll Poe. Okay. And... I will... Maybe I should be mulliganing for a, uh... Shoot him for two, this guy. Alright. Maybe I should have been mulliganing for Wingman, because that is very useful, but I didn't. If I play the Holdout Buster on him, maybe I can get people to consider going for a different character. But I also want to be able to Wingman someone. Uh, so, I will play the Holdout Blaster. Okay. Uh, I need a deck pack. <clears throat> Can't just delete. And I'm also getting some serious lag now. That's great. Did I just move the card? I think I might have just moved the card. Maybe not. Hey, there we go. Lag ended. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. It's been happening to me a little bit. Yep. Sorry about that. Okay. It's all good. Oh. Um, I guess one big problem with the holdout blaster is that it's not a, it's not a, it's not, a, it's not a red dice. Can't, it's a trap. With go it. ahead and roll Ray. So there's that problem. To worry about. I'm gonna roll the other rebel commando. I can discard to reroll, uh, but then the rocket launcher's not gonna be in my discard. To the him again. Okay. So I'm gonna play this command. I'm gonna roll out this commando, and then I'll probably do some rerolls. Like I'm gonna lose the first battlefield. It's guaranteed. So um, rolling out this commando. I really wanted to be able to uh, rebel assault his uh, po dice, but I could not, unfortunately. And I'll go ahead and claim and yep. post special. Yep. Uh, who knows? Uh, one with the force, three damage. Okay. See, so the power of not being able to rebel assault that, that's a problem. Alright, I'm gonna discard a block and do some rerolls. The block tech, I know. So that's, yeah. Uh, I'm rerolling that yeah. one. Reroll that. Okay. The special say, remove a die. Yeah. Is it okay? I'll discard this Expensive. rocket launcher and reroll this one die. 
too. Cool. Okay, that was some pretty good rolls there. Five damage. Uh, let's throw that five into Poe. Ray is scary with her action economy, but and then I'll claim the resource. Then I'll be. Dollar. Then I'll start okay. the new round. Taken cool. seven, but I've done five. And in terms of um, in terms of uh, in terms of ratios, that's good for me. So, you know, you'll start. I can feel medic. That's not terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and hit and run Poe. Okay. I'm looking to kill this rebel commando as fast as he can. And he can with that. That was a good roll. And then. I'll do three to kill that guy. Yep. And two to. This one. Alright. Not the gun. I owe a dollar. Okay. Uh, I think I have to roll out the Rebel Commando first if I want to Rebel Assault something. What does Raise Dice have? Not the best, but as long as it's not damage, maybe I should be able to Rebel Assault something. I would like to say that Poe dies in the future. I don't know. Uh, I'll rearm, get the Rocket Launcher out for two. Good. That doesn't have ambush. Okay. No. I will. If it had, if it had ambush, it'd be a, it'd be a spirit rebellion card. Yeah. Uh, I'll roll in. Yep. I've already discarded the block tech. No. <laughs> I will roll the rebel commando. And give me the maximum chance for the rebel assault. Okay. Not great. I'll do three to the rock launcher guy. Okay. Uh, I could either not roll. I could, if I wanted to, just claim the battlefield right now. Uh, I would do two to both, which is four. But I think I'm just going to get better at, off of uh, the rerolls. So that's what I'll do. All right. I'm going to roll out this commando. Okay. Plus three. Okay. Yeah. Of course, he could have deflect. That makes things a bit more problematic. Mm. If he passes, I'll be sure he has something that he wants to do with the the rocket launcher die. Play a force illusion on Poe. Okay. I could have discarded reroll and then rearmed the VH17. That would have got me an free resource. I am going to do three to the Poe. Does he want to force illusion that? Uh, nope. Okay. Two, three. Poe has four um, force illusion. I'll claim. I will uh, discard DH-17 Blast Pistol and reroll. Yep. Okay, now I'll do 4 to Poe. Does he uh, close illusion that? Yeah, he does. That's what I figured. Full power, C-3PO. Ah, I got the Viro Knife. Nice. And a Mind Probe. And a Mind Probe. Nice, nice. Uh, then I will play Re... Yep, then I'll play Rearm. Get the uh, Blast Pistol back. Neat. Neat. And uh, that's my turn. Cool. Uh, Hopefully I can get another It's a Trap and a hit and run here for the game. I get the hit and run. So I could potentially hit and run on this uh, rocket launcher and get a kill on the Poe. Let's uh, not discard. Back to you. 
All the chances I kill Poe with this guy as opposed to this guy. Uh, roll out Poe. I mean, pretty good chances. I'll be honest. Hmm. I will uh, hit and run this uh, Rebel Commando. The chances, though, that I okay. that I simply get a uh, thing to allow me to remove that Poe die is high. Yeah, okay, I did not get anything that I wanted there. Ooh, dodged a bullet. Yeah, that saddens me. I will uh, roll out this Rebel Commando. Right over. Ugh! Ah, that's not too good. Um... I can do claim with the rocket launcher. Fire the two. Okay. At King, the commando. He could potentially just kill me with Ray here, so I do need to heal. I will uh, field medic uh, those two off, right back off him. Sound good. Um. Roll Ray. Okay. Playing around the hold up blaster, you see. Uh, I can remove the Poe die there. That might be just a good idea to prevent him from uh, doing any claim shenanigans. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Well, that is one less card for me to reroll with. I think it's still worth it. I'm going to Rebel Assault that Poe die. What's that do? If I have a, um... if I have a Range side, I can remove something okay. that's not a range side or melee side. Okay. Um. So the maximum he can do to me is five this turn because he's placed, Ooh. he's activated all his cards and stuff. So. Take my dollar. About to play. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna discard for a reroll here. That's more like it in terms of damage. Alright, that's uh that's nine damage, that's good. That's a good roll. Not looking good. Uh you have a resource too. I do indeed have a resource. Nine. All these people not playing dodge anymore! Oh yeah! Oops, wrong screen. Yep, for the two, yeah. Yep. Well, I'm gonna resolve that to four damage to kill Poe and then the one into the ray. My math is right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Poe dead, this is a little um, scary. I'll do one. Alright. I will claim the battlefield and I will not use the ability. Sounds good. Um, I still have to pay for it with the Emperor's Throne Room, so. Yeah. Rather I will resources. just pass. Alright. I can no longer do those it, uh, It's a Trap shenanigans, but. With the uh, death going like that, that's uh, very useful still. Okay. Alright, I am gonna. Turn one, hold out blaster. And uh, roll out the commando. Still don't have a wingman, but. Oh well. That's still four damage. Which is good. All of these people so worried about the fast sand shenanigans, removing, removing dodge from the decks. Aha! <laughs> At least I hope you don't have a dodge coming through. I'm gonna play a lightsaber. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna roll out Ray. Yep. It's the extra action because of Ray. It's gonna be three damage. That's uh, three unblockable damage specifically. So Duggan is actually kind of worthless here. But uh, yeah. No, I'm looking at things. I just want to get that four damage off now before anything bad happens. Yep, I'm just going to resolve that four damage now before anything bad possibly could happen. Two, three, four. Okay. Um. And, you know, before the Rebel Trooper might die, Rebel Commander might die, and then I hold that blast. Blaster goes to this guy, and then he's got two hold up blasters and DH 17. Hmm. Discard rocket launcher. Yep. And reroll these two. Okay. Two resources sites. Okay. Uh, do I roll the rebel commando here? I think I do. I think I do. But if he dies, then I lose the holdout blaster ability. Maybe it's better to take the shield first. Don't lose any tempo necessarily taking the shield. I'm gonna uh, take a shield here. Okay. Shields don't help against the unblockable damage, so I'll put it on Play the field medic. Okay. Wait. Yeah. It's two, yeah. That doesn't have to spot. No, no. <laughs> I haven't played that much. Alright, this one I'll roll this roll commando. Mostly play villains. Yeah, I'll roll this roll commando. That's where the whole that bastard die went. Forgot I'd moved the die. I forgot I moved the die. Oh, did you miss it? Uh, no, I. Well, no. maybe I did. I'm not sure. I might have done. Now that I think about it, I don't think I did. You might have like just. Put I think it over I just here. moved the card and the dice just stayed around because I'd already activated the character or something. Claim plant um, uprising will allow me to start doing some serious damage with just claiming, but I can't afford it. What right. to do? What to do? Yeah, Duggan's not going to be very helpful with Vibro Knife now that I realize it, so... I'm just card to hold that blaster. Okay, there goes, and it's a trap card. Still got another one again. with the Force and stuff. Okay, After where I started. Discard a Duggan, and re-roll these three card dice. That's on its side enough for a re-roll, I think. Okay. Do you agree? Or... Yeah, that's fine. You can re-roll it. Don't want to bully you or anything if the. No, it's all good. And roll the blank anyway. Blank anyways. Um. I'll resolve the three. All right. I will claim a resource. Um. I'll make you discard one. Oh, you got my planetary uprising. Uh, do I want to potentially do the three damage in exchange to let Ray go first? Or no, because I have I have another hit and run potential here. I'm gonna claim the throne room at this point. Okay. I'll pass. Okay. Do I want to get rid of in its trap? Did I already get rid of my first? I didn't even get rid of my first, so yeah, I can absolutely look in for. Hit and runs. Didn't get it. Didn't get the hit and run. Did get another dug in. Do you have a surgical strike and stuff? Hmm. I'm gonna roll this rebel commando. Yeah. Not a good roll for me to. Um. I'll roll already. Alright. I can still get the three damage off though. Did not get a damage side, good. I can resolve this uh, just fine. Ray dies or not. I'm <laughs> gonna resolve the three range damage into Ray. Yep. Um, he clearly I did not will... have a deflector, otherwise he would save me, so I don't have to play around that this turn. Try to rocket launcher. These rocket launchers are powerful. These having to scar. Yeah, we roll three. All right. Still nothing. Okay.
Do I replace the blast pistol with a IQA or with an overkill? Overkill has a higher chance of more damage, but I don't have many grey sides. I'll discard the D817. I'm going to discard a DH17 to play an IQA. Okay. I just keep deleting all my resources all the time. It's so bad of me. I can never. Mm, I keep. Uh, it's current defensive position. Okay. Three. There's his melee. So he can kill off uh, this something. guy from one and then do three to that other guy. Um. There's nothing I can really do about that. Good claim. Do two damage with the uh, rocket launcher. Guaranteed two with the rocket launcher. And then next turn I roll out the IQA and claim. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. However, what's the chance that I do more than two damage with these dice? I mean, come on. He hasn't got to deflect this turn, so I don't have to roll, up, roll around, play around that. I pass. Okay. Hmm. I'll make you discard one. Okay. Best place for the clock, clearly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we can still hover over it. <laughs> we can still hover over it for the time, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna pass again. There we go. Readable. I'm gonna do all of his other actions first. Did you take pass. an action there? Okay. Thinking. Yeah, one well, of the chances I do more than two damage is very high. I've got three rerolls, so I'm going to have three guns and a rebel trooper. Anything I can do? way around it. I'll do three unblockable to that one. And kill this guy? I could just make you pass again, but yeah, I'll kill him. Right. Of course, I realized my folly after I did all that, but you could have also just passed in return. So. Yeah, but then you have the battlefield. That's true. Deactivated, gets to do stuff. Alright, I will now roll out my Rebel Commando. And you have three rerolls. I have five dice here, that shouldn't be possible. Yep, this DH-17 shouldn't be here. I figured, I figured it out for once, guys. One, I spotted two, three. it. Yep. <sighs> Yeah, I'll claim. Okay. I'm gonna discard some rerolls. Get me. Discard some more Ooh. for rerolls. Come on. Oh. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I mean, I could have done three, and then next turn I would have just claimed immediately to get the IQA kill, but. Yeah. That would work. But like, if you did roll out a hold, draw a holdout blaster on Ray, then you could have done shenanigans and maybe. You still had a That's holdout true. blaster, I believe. So. Uh, I have a defensive position as well. So depending on what you roll, I can. Yes, that's right. Remove true. a lot of your dice. I still have a hit and run in here. Would I have drawn it in the next four? 
Uh, I would not have drawn it in the next four, but I would have drawn a planetary uprising, so I wouldn't have even needed to, to activate my character. <laughs> yeah, I did draw a holdout and a deflect and a willpower. Mm, I would have gone with the planet. Yeah, I would have gone with the planetary uprising and then claimed, so that there was no chance of a deflect play. Oh, yeah. But you could have, yeah. What do I get? Uh, that wouldn't have been a kill. Yes. Okay. Oh, good game. That's good surprisingly game. did pretty well. This is the counter deck, right? It's designed to. I built this deck to counter Poe Ray, Poe Maz, and Vader Raider. I figured those would be the most, the biggest. That's interesting. Jones. And then my first match was against a Django, and I absolutely dominated him because of the. Uh, it's a trap. Yeah. The, yeah, the that seems pretty disgusting. Yeah, the idea is that this team just has just a ton of health, and then like. If people are playing it for does. the throne room, for playing the throne room for like the hyperloop in Pomaz, well, I can always claim it to blow up the vehicle, right, with the rocket launcher. Oh yeah. And if That's they're not, funny. well, and then I didn't draw either of my wingmen, but uh, yeah, the idea of this deck is oh, that. Oh yeah, that would give you tons of speed. Yeah, the idea is that as the deck, as people start dying, the deck gets quicker and quicker and quicker until the point where you just hit and where you can just do a hit and run wingman and just completely just flood the board in one turn as if I was a ray, effectively. <laughs> and then with planetary uprising, because I'm going quicker and quicker, I can start getting that damage through. Indeed, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And then the planetary uprising is also, of course, as the finisher, right? I play it for two, and the next turn, the very start, I just right. resolve it immediately. Is that guaranteed damage? Indeed. And close out a game. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, uh, it's very it was a very tough choice for me to roll to decide between Poe or Ray as the first choice, but I think I chose correctly. I had those Rebel assaults yeah, as well. In, those are really good against Poe. In my experience versus Poe Ray, mm -hmm. I've done a lot of practicing for Worlds. You have to kill Poe first. Yeah, good because that's what the I think. Big, the big counter threat is if Ray gets a force throw on her, mm -hmm. and they have the uh, yeah, that is the scary the part. Of force throw against rocket launcher that gets really scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then they're able to flip damage against you every round, An and eight then it's swing. like it's huge double swing. Yeah, it's yep. nuts. Uh, even yeah. in awakenings, that's like the big scary scenario. I had uh, I had Rebel Assault in my opening hand, and then the first time, um, you managed to claim the battlefield when I didn't have damage dice showing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I was unable to get rid of the Poe dice first, but I managed to do it the second time, right? You only threw yeah. a three damage one with a force into me. I was fine with that. Yeah, that's not that huge. It's not that huge. It's not, it's not a mind probe. Or a force throw. Yeah, last game... Uh... The guy discarded my mind probe like in the second round. Mm -hmm. It was like a one out of four, and then I drew, drew the second one, and then I like, what did I do? I played, hit and ran on Poe, and then like, played a com link to reroll and rolled both specials or something. <laughs> nice. It was nuts, and and I mind probed and with the force eight damage to kill his plasma yep. like round yep. three yeah Ray in awakenings is absolutely horrifying but the 30 health the 30 health teams are difficult to deal with i used to really like running poe hired gun hired gun for that 30 health and just absolutely dominating people yeah um but the problem with that deck of course is that uh hyperloop be it turned out hyperloop was a thing and i never even noticed until it became a thing and then everyone right. was like, why are you running Hyperloop deck? Stop running Hyperloop deck. And I'm like, I don't even have Hyperloop. Well, actually, this deck would be a lot better if I did run Hyperloop. Uh, I feel really conflicted. I'm just not going to run this deck ever again. <laughs> yeah. Every Everyone I've seen playing Hyperloop makes big play mistakes with it. Yes. The Hyperloop isn't even that big of a deal for Hyperloop, for the old Hyperloop deck. Yeah, they're, they're too timid to like just be a complete jerk and keep looping over and over. But that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Never let your opponent do anything. But at the same time, right? Like, you don't need the Hyperloop for it to be a, to be a good deck. There are people who built their entire decks around the Hyperloop. And that, I think that was a mistake. But yeah. Then I made. Well, with Planetary Uprising now. Yes, that's you kind of can. That's the problem here. Once a loop starts with Planetary it requires... Uprising, it's game. Yeah. The only it, advantage. It requires claiming. Mm-hmm. 
So you have to give your opponent an action, and with so much action, fast hand, like fast hands, four speed Vader probably just like destroys you. Anyways, I don't know. I built a deck that is designed around just looping with planetary uprising. Besides that, it's like a what I'm like Akbar Ray. And if you get set up, which yeah, it can you set can, up really you can do fast. The you can do fast hands up. into four speed into claim every turn. Yeah, you do. Uh, you just roll Maz, and you have like an eighty percent chance to roll a focus. Mm -hmm. And then you can cunning the four speed, and then claim. Yep. Yep. To do the loop. Yeah, that's just that's just absolutely that, that gives you the best odds. Mm -hmm. It gives you the best odds, but like. Any big hitter will kill one of your characters, like yes. on one or two, yes. really easily. So it that, probably that's the thing, so. right? That's this is what I'm what I'm hoping is that Hyperloop, despite being absolutely broken, the fact is I'm hoping that there are enough predators like Vader Raider, who is a huge predator of the new uh, Hyperloop decks, is just there so that yeah. it never actually gains enough traction to win, and so people just don't play right. it because it doesn't win, despite the fact that it's broken as all hell. Yeah, it probably. That deck that I built, like the entire point is just card draw and get the combo rolling as yeah. fast as possible. Or like mid rangey decks yep. that don't do tons of damage and are more control style, but like Jabba discarding from hand is annoying. Any disrupt can set you back if they get it in the first round. Like, so snap or anything like that probably just doesn't work. Yep, and this deck it's probably not that good at all. Yeah, this deck specifically in a po against a Poe Maz, I would play it just I'd be attacking Poe the whole time, and then suddenly once they roll range damage, oh, I can hit and run into it's a trap into kill Maz instantly. Ha! Because she's only got hit. Oh health. yeah, play a second chance because like people don't play second chance threat. until Maz has already taken damage, right? So right, yeah. This deck's probably really good. It seems. Like it is it. very powerful. Um, of course, there is one thing that uh, I'm thinking, you know, what would really improve this deck heavily with a very minor change. I think I could just make one of these commandos into Akbar. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's one less health. You don't get that two range damage side, but you do get two focus, which is not big of a deal. Focus. But the big deal is that it stops people. It stops people rerolling for that last re discarding for that last card to reroll because of Akbar's ability. Yeah, it's a lot more influential than I give it credit for. I think so. I think right. I could probably run Akbar Double Commando. I used to have a version of this deck with Akbar Double Commando there... um, where I would play supports like crazy instead, and it was very strong. But <laughs> uh, the problem with that is that it does lose straight up to Hyperloop because supports take too long to activate because there's no cheating supports. Right. But like I yeah. could I could I could easily get out two U wings, put strategic planning on there for a three U wing turn. Be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Um. Hey guys, just hopping in here to give you about a ten minute warning. Oh, uh, we, okay. we're done. We're sorry. Yeah. We're okay. Chat. Sounds good. Uh, are there four are rounds or five other... rounds? Is the fifth round just a tiebreaker or? I think there's only a fifth round if there needs to be a tiebreaker. Okay, cool. So in that case, I am guaranteed four. to go at least three one, which puts me in the top four most probably. Yeah, you win stuff. So probably. I win stuff. Yes. My first successful tournament. Aha. And those people tell me I'm shit <laughs> on my YouTube comments. All I had to do was yeah. steal someone else's deck. And by steal someone else's deck, I mean can. I watched someone play a weaker version of this and I was like, you know, I could improve this and make it a real killer. And I did. Wow. Yeah. But thinking about it, I'm not sure I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure I changed much, honestly. So Are there any other ten point nine or ten point characters that would be useful? Bray doesn't necessarily seem useful in there to blue. You could throw down you could throw in a hide gun or a smuggler for the um for the Ooh. yellow. Like the smuggler with the resource gain is nice, but you only have twenty seven health then, and I feel like nearly every single hit point counts. I'm over smuggler. Like if I think. the if I was playing he has the resource smug faces. Hmm? The the smuggler with or his your... ability to, you know, every time you use the last card in your hand. You get a resource. Gain a resource. Yeah. Yeah, but you could. The hired guns, probably just better. Well, they have more health, but at the same time, like, the the hired guns are generally neutral in terms of resources because they get resources and then they spend the resources. 
Whereas with the smuggler, you actually just straight up get resources out of him. Because he doesn't have a cost side. Right. Um, but like, if I played the smuggler, then basically the equivalent would be this. And if I did that and had that like that, this this game is a lot closer. <laughs> yeah. Then if it goes to the next round, I can. It's maybe a lot win. closer. And like, you don't have a lot, the. A lot more, more likely. And the other problem is wingman, right? Like, wingman is really good with the three character lineup, because one guy gets starts getting hit. I put a wingman on the second guy, and then I build up the third guy. That's true. That's seems really good. I th the main reason I think why I used to have Akbar, why I used to have the uh, the three commandos rather than Akbar, and didn't even consider it. So I used to play swiftness with squad tactics. Uh, what's swiftness? Swiftness I, gives the next card you play man. ambush. Oh. So I do an ambush squad tactics for a triple hit and run. <laughs> yeah. Does it cost one or something? It costs one. Yeah. Swiftness. It costs one. That's... But... It would it was insane, combo. but it was basically never happening. Yeah. So eventually I, I just I got around. rid of him to put in more guns. Yeah, I've been playing around with tactical mastery and aim. Mm -hmm. You guys done? <sighs> that's um, expensive. It's two that's two resources. Yeah, man. yeah, we're done. Oh, is someone in here again? Yeah, Alrathian. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, we're done. I should no, he's um, gone now. <laughs> yeah. Um, in SOR, the deck I want to Asajj, Unkar Plot, and a Knight Sister. It seems like it could be nasty. Interesting. But I haven't, I haven't tried anything with it yet. The deck I really want to make work really, really well is Unkar Krennic, but I just know that Unkar uh, Krennic yeah. can't beat a Ray, a po Ray, so. Yeah, that could be true. Okay. Yeah, we should report all skills. Alright, so we meet again, Slide 99, aka No Brainer. Thank you for watching. Signing out. Cool.